Hi there, my name is Heidi and I wanted to give you a little demo of a rubber bristle broom. So this is the handle of the rubber bristle broom. This, the top of this is rounded specifically so it will be ergonomic and this is all a soft rubber. So as you lean it against the wall, it's not gonna mark up your walls. And then the pole for this broom will telescope. So if you quarter turn it and you can collapse it down, here I'll show you, to this length, or it extends out to five feet tall. And one thing I want you to know is that all of our poles are interchangeable. So this broom head can clip onto the mop pole and the mop plate can clip onto the broom pole. Same with the dusting kit and the window kit. So, um, yes, I think that those two. So all of them are interchangeable, so I want you to know that. So you could have this five foot pole, have a window kit on the end of it and be able to wash your windows. But for our purposes, the broom, I'm gonna make it so it's ergonomic for me. So that's about chin height. I need to make it just a little longer. So about chin height means that I'm not gonna injure my back. I'm gonna be able to stay upright while I'm sweeping. Now the bristles on here, they are a rubber bristle and this is, five years old, this broom, and it looks just like the day I got it. Um, maybe a little bit dusty, but these will use static electricity to gather everything into one spot. And then you can use it inside, outside, on hard floors, or on carpet. And I'm gonna show you sweeping one of our doormats just to show you how much it will pick up. Now, if you've used it outside and it gets all dirty, this is what I love. You can just unclip this head rinse this out, wash all the dirt and grime out of it, and then put it right back on your mop and go back to cleaning your kitchen. So we use this on our walkway, on our deck, in our garage, literally everywhere in our house. But the coolest thing is being able to sweep stuff out of the carpet and the rugs that you can't get with a vacuum. So I'm gonna show you that right now and ignore my messy kitchen, but I'm gonna point you down to that mat right there. And then you'll see my dustpan in the corner and I'm gonna try to move it forward just a little bit so you can see the mat a little bit better. So this is where, this is an h 2 home doormat. This is the large size. And this is where everybody comes in from outside. So as I'm sweeping it, I will put my foot on the mat so it stays in one spot. And hopefully this will show up on camera just how much it takes out of one spot. And then I'll just sweep that off the end and I'll show you in the dustpan how much that picked up. So just sweeping that one, one little strip, I'll gather this all in one spot here on the floor, and then show you the dustpan. So this dustpan, you can actually, the handle will turn, but when it's turned over the tray, I love that it remains very balanced, and this edge will sit very flush to the floor, so you can literally rest it on the floor, and I'll show you, I'm gonna use my toe just back here to steady it so it doesn't move around. Don't stand on the handle, but just use your toe to steady it. And you can sweep right into the dustpan without having to get out a different room. So, just a toe on the back so it stays in one spot. And sweep right into the dustpan. And then, this is all the stuff that we picked up from that doormat. So that's just that one little strip of doormat. And I will tell you, I get these same results even after I have vacuumed. So this will actually pull pet hair and dirt and debris out of your rug even better than a vacuum. So just a quick little demo on the rubber bristle broom. Thanks for watching.